Welcome to what is probably going to be one of my last videos on the subject of connecting my uh, Blackview DR900S two-channel dash cam to my phone uh, without the massive workaround that I've had to implement in the past. In the last few days, Blackview have released their latest firmware for this version of the camera. The firmware version is 003 and this purports to fix the problem. Well, half fix the problem and I'll get onto that towards the end of the video. So first things first, head over to Blackview's webpage, blackview.com forward slash downloads. Um, that will find you the download page and it gives you the upgrade guide. So uh, go through there. All the details are on there. Click your download link. Wait for it to load up if necessary. I've already downloaded this uh, once already. So the version here, as you can see, is version 1.003. Um, now, if we scroll down, what's new? This is the interesting bit. Okay, we can skip past most of it because um, most of it doesn't apply to generally. It's to do with fleet. But it's this last item, number four. This is the important one regarding the issue that I have and that most people who have commented on my videos have and that is Wi-Fi band selection. We can now choose between 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz under the firmware settings and the default is 5 GHz. A pop-up in the Blackview app should inform you in case your 5 GHz connection is not supported on your phone. Well, I take umbrage at that line because the problem is that I have come across and most people have come across is not the fact that uh, our phones don't support 5 GHz. They do support 5 GHz. It's just that the Blackview camera doesn't transmit on a compatible frequency unless you use my workaround by connecting the Blackview to a 5 GHz Wi-Fi hotspot that your phone can see and then your phone can natively see the Blackview dash cam. So whilst I have now implemented a switch or supposedly in implemented a switch which I'll see as soon as I've got the firmware downloaded that allows us to flick between 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz solves half the problem. It doesn't however solve the problem for those who want to use the 5 GHz bandwidth whose phones are capable of receiving a 5 GHz bandwidth but Blackview can't be bothered to use a standard or a more standard section of the 5 GHz spectrum. So anyway we've downloaded our file so we pop it in our Blackview uh, uh, SD card so the you can do this through the app however if you're struggling to do it through the app or struggling to get your app connected the only way is to do it through the Blackview viewer software on your laptop which is what I'm going to do here so I've just plugged in uh, my Blackview's S micro SD card there it's popped up currently showing what's on it so we open up the Blackview viewer and we format the SD card. Now you can format this outside of the viewer, but you must make sure it's formatted to FAT32. It's safer to do it in the viewer. So we format that, follow through the error messages, and the SD card has been formatted successfully. So that's brilliant. So the next thing to do is our download. So as I said, I downloaded it earlier, there it is. Um, we open up the file manager now for the SD card. So we'll find that, there we go, black view. So you can now see that's empty. All we do is drag the black view folder over. That's that, so that's done. So there we go. That's the firmware now put onto the uh, micro SD card. So we'll just eject that. and now that can be put in the dash cam. So I'm just going to pause this video a second. Okay, so I've put the SD card in there and I'm now just going to attach the power to it. So this will boot up and do its normal stuff. Now I'm going to take the card back out of the camera and adjust its settings if it doesn't show on the phone. There we go, it's upgrading.
this is the boring bit. Restart it. Right, there we go, it's restarting. Not really much to see here, I'm afraid, I'm sorry. I don't know whether that's going to say anything more or not. Previously I... Oh, there we go. So it can't see a Wi-Fi hotspot because there's none programmed. So that's fine. And at present, I'm looking on my phone there, the black view is not showing up at all, which is what I expected. So what I'm going to go and do now is I'm just going to take the card back out of the camera and go back into the settings on the laptop. So I'm just going to pause this video once more. Right, so I've opened, I've plugged the card back into my laptop and I've reopened the app. And as you can see, um, because it's been formatted, we now have the first two video files from where it was trying to record. So what we need to do now is go into the settings, firmware, and then under Wi-Fi, we've got our login credentials for the device. And it should have something in here. So it's firmware version is correct, 1003. And I'm looking now for the switch for 2.4 gigahertz. I'm just going to pause this whilst I continue looking for that section. Right, so I've put the uh, micro SD card back into the camera, so I'm just going to power that back on up. Uh, I could not find anywhere in the Blackview viewer software um, a connection. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to wait for this to boot up. I'm going to use my hack workaround to get it to connect to my phone and then Hopefully, we'll see something. I'd forgotten I'd uh, turned off most of the voice commands, so I'm not getting the uh, starting normal recording, etc. Um, I must have remembered that in the firmware on the fo on on the camera, which is quite in quite clever because. Uh, there, see, Wi-Fi hotspot is unavailable. It's currently searching for the Wi-Fi and it can't find one. Now, as you can see on there, I can, ca cannot currently see the uh, dash cam's Wi-Fi. So I'm just gonna turn on my mobile hotspot and go straight back to the uh, Wi-Fi list. And hopefully, in a minute, that will say cloud connected. Cloud connected. There we go. And then there, straight away, the moment you get that cloud connected, this is as it was before, we get our Wi-Fi. So now we'll connect to that which will disconnect the cloud, which is fine. Yeah, I know there's no internet available. There we go, cloud disconnected. But the most important thing is now, we are connected to the camera. So now I can open up the app and see if we can find this. Go into Blackview Wi-Fi. Uh, settings, firmware settings, Wi-Fi, 
Oh look, there we go. Wi-Fi auto turn on. Wi-Fi band. We'll choose 2.4 gigahertz. Okay. Save and close. That's restarting, so this will be interesting to see whether or not um, we lose the BB900 and whether we reconnect to it or not. Right, there we go, we've lost it. So that's interesting sound. And the next question will be see whether it comes back. I've not done this before, so you're going through this for the first time with me. Maybe I should have test run it before I did this video, it would have been a bit quicker I suppose, but uh, I don't have time to do it twice. Why is that connected to the cloud? That's interesting because as far as I'm aware, unless I've left any cloud settings in there, I turned my um, thing off. Oh, well, anyway, BB900. Oh, no, I may have left the hotspot on. Well, regardless, BB900 is currently there. So I'll check my hotspot settings in a minute. First things first, we shall go in and check to see um, the status must have been the hotspot. Let's open up the Blackview app and see what it says under Wi-Fi. Right, so that's showing 2.4 gigs. Okay, that's cool. So what we'll do now is we'll close uh, our hotspot and make sure that's turned off. So yeah, it was still turned on. So mobile hotspot is now turned off. Wi-Fi is now turned off. And I'm going to just pull the power on the camera. Right. Make sure everything on the phone's closed down. Now I'm going to reopen just the Wi-Fi. You can see nothing there at all at the moment. Turn the Wi-Fi on. Scanning. Now I'm going to plug the dash cam back in and this is going to be the true test because we've turned the mm -hmm. hotspot hot off. Mm -hmm. So it will be to see whether or not it comes back on. I'm not the wipers on, sorry about that. So Wi-Fi hotspot is unavailable, it's fine. Now it's supposed to be broadcasting on 2.4 gigahertz. And there we go, we now have the BV900. So now we no longer need the workaround because it will connect, but it will only connect on 2.4 gigahertz. And that's annoying. That's very annoying. It saves an awful lot of problems because it now means that we can connect the app to the dash cam without the workaround of having to set up a mobile hotspot anywhere we go. It will just work, but it will only work on 2.4 gigahertz unless you have a, a compatible phone like an iPhone, for example, or some of the really latest phones. I believe, believe the Samsung S9 actually sees the native five gigahertz. But my phone, the S7 Edge, and many other phones that have been mentioned both in the comments to my previous videos or in the dashcam talk forum um, thread that I've got going on this, 
they've all stated that the workaround works um, their phones are capable of seeing 5 gigahertz and their phones do see 5 gigahertz if the dash cam is connected to a 5 gigahertz hotspot first that their phone can see for some reason it's broadcasting on a channel that most devices if they have a problem connecting with it can't see it's not the fact that devices can't see a 5 gigahertz channel it's they can't see the 5 gigahertz channel that blackview has decided to default this to so praise to blackview for half sorting it but i want 5 gigahertz because i want to use this for the live camera view and therefore i need the bandwidth that 5 gigahertz pr provides not the 2.4 gigahertz so well done for getting it half sorted blackview now can we have the 5 gigahertz on a more respectable channel please and thank you for watching folks